The mice have been on the island for a hundred years now and they can just reach such high population densities that they're having a huge impact across the entire ecosystem and they're just chewing their way through it one species at a time. So within 24 hours of an albatross dying on the island, it's completely eaten out down to the bones by the mice scavenging it. And we've seen on other islands in the world that the mice can start doing this to the albatross while they're still alive. And they're also attacking the invertebrates and chewing their way through all of the beetles and the moths and just making them disappear from across the island as fast as possible. So at their height, the population of mice on the island can reach 150 per hectare, which is actually equivalent to one mouse every 10 by 10 metres, effectively one mouse in every room of your house. So at 2,000 hectares, the uh, island is the size of a small town, and if you can just imagine the number of mice across this entire island, there is no safe place you can go without having them be living underneath you and around you and awake all night around you. So the history of invasion of these islands really depends a lot on chance, such as whether there was a shipwreck there or whether the sealers went there. And so that's why on some islands we see cats and rats and others just mice like Antipodes Island, where it was just through one shipwreck that mice happened to get ashore a hundred years ago. So it's the middle of winter, so the mice are going to be really hungry, so it's the optimal time to start an eradication on them. And once that bait hits the ground, those mice are going to be all over it and they'll have cleaned it up within two weeks and then Doc will do a second drop just to make sure they've got them all and then within the period of a month it'll be like the mice will never have been there before. The greatest challenge for any eradication will be removing the very last individual. So we're lucky with the rodent eradication tools we have that we have a single method that will get every last one. But really no one can be confident until we know that that last mouse has eaten that last piece of bait that we've dropped on the island and only then can we confirm it a success. The impact of these mice having been there for a hundred years is systematically driving species extinct and within years of the removal of mice these invertebrates will just explode in numbers of uh, almost biblical proportions I think.